Hey everybody, we're gonna be just working on a patch today. I know uh, this is one of those things that everybody does a little differently and I wanted to show you just this part of this song where I'm creating this, uh, this additional part and uh, we're gonna be using it to fill in kind of this pre-verse thing after a chorus ends and uh, taking it through the next verse and into the final chorus. Uh, so let's take a take a peek right now. What I've got so far is this retro synth just the default actually And I'm going through the step effects uh, with the animated gate Or the anthem gated space And so those are the two things I'm starting with we're not going to end there, but um, Let me just play a little bit of this and where this is going to be going and so you can hear it Sun is always there. Those who try and say it isn't there will grab the fire as their own. Just burn them down into the ground. Okay, so it goes on a little bit further there and actually the when it gets to the chorus there's some different chords but uh, that's the the basic sound I wanted for that some motion but I want it to be bigger I want it to be like really like wow that's like gonna melt my face off a little bit and so there's a few different things we could do with this we could come through here and do some stuff with the panning some more this has a little bit of panning on it, so. And so we could do a lot inside the step effects with that, but there's another thing that sometimes I'll use here, uh, and that is with our, well, it's like a different whole plugin here. Um, stereo spread. You've probably seen me if you've watched any of my videos before uh, using this. And so with the other panning effect on the step effects, this one added later actually changes that. Um, but I think it fills in some of the other parts of it and makes it even thicker in some ways. This is one of the options. So this one, just to give you a recap of what it does, it splits the, the sound into all of these frequency bands. And anytime you're on one of the bands that's going above the red line, that's going to be panned uh, some or all to the left. And below it, it'll be panned towards the right. And so you can see I can move this around a little bit and get a different mix of it. And I inverted the upper instead of just going back and forth. I tend to get a little bit um, less issues with uh, mono compatibility here if I do the inversion on the upper. So you don't get quite so much of a cancellation if you get some to mono. Okay, so that's one option that we could do. Um, I do like how that thickens it out a little bit. Uh, the other thing I wanna do, either here again, um, or probably as a separate plugin, because we do have an exciter, uh, which we can use um, in here. And this also has some other dynamics effects, but I think for the most part, I'm gonna leave it outside of this and, um, and move it to a plugin after the fact. So we're gonna do just a compressor down here to maybe squash a little bit of the dynamics.
just to beef it up a little bit before we add on some of the other effects. So I was thinking either another step effects because it has some really cool granular things um, or to just put it through uh, one of our remix effects here. So that was just me clicking on it. But I think we'll actually put an effect on here to have that repeating it. So let's try a MIDI effect here with the modulator. And learn plugin parameter. I don't know if that's going to do what I want it to. And actually, uh, this may be easier to do in a different way, but we're going to, yeah, let's do it a different way. So instead of the modulator, we did a, a video recently about adding in separate tracks. Okay, so we're going to reset this second track here. And we're going to reassign this to instrument eight. And let's do a step sequencer down here. Cool. So turn that off for a second. We'll do automation, remix. And we had the down sampler on and off. Let's open that up. Okay, we don't need that. Let's do this one here, automation, remix, frequency. And I wasn't sure. So we're going to adjust this in a second, but We're going to try this mode right here. So let's loop this thing out. Down sampler on and off. We're going to do that. I think I like the ones that are closer down to 96. 
Now that one doesn't matter. I do like that they shift around a little bit, but every once in a while we're getting one that's that was just too much. So let's try that. Cool. So now we have this thing that's patterning right how I wanted it to. Let's pull this back to where that begins. Trim that down to there for now. Unsolo. Let's prep this up just a little bit. And I have, because if we get to the actual second course, I don't have all those chords memorized right now. So I'm just having the MIDI up or in the notation so I can actually see them. The last thing I'll say is let's double check that I have the right track in the actual main window selected so I don't just override the other one with MIDI. So now that one's selected even though they're the same track as I reassigned them. Now that information should keep it going. Okay, let's record this. Those who try and say it isn't there will grab the fire as their own. Just burn them down into the ground. Okay, cool. So now we have the new part and that step sequencer part doing that. There's one more thing we need to do here because we don't want it to, it's pretty loud throughout the whole thing. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of an equalizer here. And when it gets into the, the part where they're singing, I'm just gonna move this down with my mouse. So I'm gonna just do that manually let's see so what i want to do is switch this to touch we're going to leave it right up here <laughs> Because they don't expect 
So now I've got this automation for all of the EQ happening that I just recorded. And then the two of those together are ready now, probably for the mixing stage, which we'll not do right now, but it's, it's like in the right place. And so um, we're able to listen to this and not have that stepping on everything. So we made it wider with the spread. Uh, we compressed it, we added the remix and did the automation with the step sequencer to add that pattern in. And then we did the channel EQ to really fit it in with the mix a little bit more where the vocals are happening. Anyway, I just wanted to show this process a little bit because I think there's some valuable stuff as we're like crafting these instruments and making them work with the other stuff. This is like a, a big part of the process and um, I hope you find a little bit of this useful.